it's Mrs. Akintundi here and I thought we would do some phonics today. Today we're going to look at a digraph. Now my group, before we broke up, we started looking at digraphs. We looked at the ch, sh and th digraphs. Today we're going to look at a new one and it is a qua digraph. Remember a digraph is where two letters come together to make one sound. So in this case, the Q and the U come together to make the qu sound. Can you think of any words that use the qu sound? I thought of queen and quick, quiz and quack. Can you say those words? Queen, quick, quiz, quack. Now we are going to read some words together. We're going to segment the sounds, which means we're going to break the word apart, and then we're going to put those sounds back together in order to read each word. Can you find the qu sound? The qu digraph. Qu i z quiz. I won the quiz. Qu it quit. I quit my team when things got hard. I'm not sure that's what you're meant to do though. Qu ik. I am quick at running. Quick. Qu ak. Quack. A duck can quack. Qu Ax quacks. A duck quacks loudly. Now this word, the quat sound isn't at the start. Can you find the digraph qua? A qua a aqua. Aqua is another word for water. Aqua. Qua id. Quid. My mum gave me a quid to spend in the shop. Quid. Now this word has got two digraphs in. Can you see them? Qua e n. Qua in. Queen. Where is the digraph qua in this word? It's not at the start, it's in that middle. So let's sound it out carefully. L, I, qu, I, d. Liquid. I had liquid in my glass. Liquid. Now, here's a sentence. Can you find which word has the digraph qu in? That's right, it's the last word in our sentence, well, in our question, because we've got a question mark at the end, which means it's a question. Let's read it together. P an can a duck duck quack quack. Now let's read it together, putting all those words together. So it sounds like a proper question. Can a duck quack? Here's another sentence. Can you have a go at reading it first? Now let's have a go reading it together. There are two words this time with the digraph qu in. Qu ik quick. Now this second word is a word you should know and it says th. Quick, the qu in queen is is cross cross. Now let's put all those words together. It's to make a proper sentence. Let's read it nice and quickly. But don't raise it, rush it. Quick, the queen is cross. Now I'm going to say a sentence and I want you to have a go at writing the sentence down. So listen carefully. 
the sentence is, it is a quick quiz. Listen one more time. It is a quick quiz. Now pause the video if you need time to write it. Right, now we're going to write the sentence together. Now the first word is it and we should always use a capital letter. So we need a capital I for it. It, it, then we need to leave our finger space. It is, it's, is, it's, is. So we've got two words so far. It is, we need to leave our next finger space. It is a. Ah, nice and easy. Next word is quick. Now listen carefully. Qu, I, k, quick. We need our digraph qu, qu, I, k. Now that k sound at the end is another digraph. So what two letters make the k sound? It's a C and a K. It is a quick quiz. How are we going to spell quiz? Let's sound it out. Qu, I, Z. We've got three sounds there and our first sound is qu and that's our digraph. So we need a Q and a U. Qu, I, I. We need an it next. And the last sound, qu, I, Z is a z. It is a quick quiz. And then to finish our sentence, what do we need to put at the end? We need a full stop. Now let's read our sentence. It is a quick quiz. And that's the end for today. Can you now go and have a look around your house or when you're out on a walk and can you find anything that has any words, any objects that has the qu sound in. Can you see anything written down that has the qu sound in? Right, thank you very much and I will see you all again another day.